but what does it mean to be back in the semi-finals of the slam? Great, right, it's a um, good news and um, especially winning um, against uh, difficult players. No? Um, on field, quarterfinals, Zverev, round of 16 and now Raonic. No? I think all of them are top players, so that's very important for me because that means that I am competitive and playing well. No? So just um, excited about uh, be back in the uh, in final rounds of, uh, of the most important events and... Um, you know, I am here <laughs> to to try to to make this. No, then it's always difficult, but I fight it. That I work hard to try to make that happen. So very happy that, that after a lot of work, uh, be be in this round again is a is a special thing for me and especially here in Australia. Has it felt like you were far away from this this round, the semifinals, or you felt like you've been close in the last couple of years? <laughs> Depends. No, I I missed a couple of slams for injuries, and then um, last year, uh, obviously here I was far, <laughs> and uh, in the U.S. Open I was close because I was in the round of 16 and having for three thirty left in the third, in the fifth, so I was close to make that happen, but didn't, and uh, here happened. So. Happy for that, playing, um, playing and completing very well during the whole event. So that's very important for me. Milos said that compared to Brisbane, you've changed things tactically against him. Maybe Sorry. Milos said that compared to Brisbane, you've changed some things tactically against him. Maybe the return position. Uh, can you just share some things about that? Yeah, it's true. I played. Um, I received uh, inside the court. Uh, in in Brisbane, I was receiving uh, like six, seven meters behind the baseline. So I watched the match uh, before, and I decided to go in. No, and talking with Tony, with Carlos, uh, we know that uh, we we need we needed to change that. And. Uh, before the match, we were talking about uh, trying to combine, you know, returning sometimes uh, very close to the baseline and sometimes back. But the real thing is I felt well from inside and I felt that I was putting some pressure on him. So I decided to stay in almost all the time. You know? So happy for that and happy because um, in Brisbane, I think I was close. Like, I was very close. You know? I had probably one point away. You know, one passing shot away. No, but uh, but I didn't make that happen, and it's true that after that I I lost a little bit the the court. No, I was playing a little bit more defensive. Today I think I I was there, and even for the moments he played so good, I think from the baseline, and I was there trying to 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 stop his aggressive shots. No, and don't losing court. No, the losing meters behind the baseline, not too many. No, so that's important change for me and. Then anything can happen. No, you can win, you can lose. These kind of matches <laughs> decides in a, in a few points. No, in the second set he he could win the second set for sure. No, so finally I won. Today was for me, and I I feel very happy for for my attitude for for the tennis too. I I hit some great passing shots again. That's good news for me because when when I made that happen is because I am playing well. Is it getting easier for, for all the guys on tour? Or? No, I think it's it's getting tougher now. No, yeah. I think there is uh, now the, uh, there is really a new, very good generation. Uh, probably a few years ago things were a little bit different, but now there is a lot of good young kids. Now, so it's going to be tough to make that happen again. You're playing the only player in the semi-finals who's not 30. Um, do you think he's potentially the pick of the younger breed of players coming through as a major winner, potentially? Everybody thinks that he's a potential major winner, no? Uh, but he was there um, probably a little bit later than than what we thought because he's, I don't know, 26, 27? 25. Huh? 25. 25? Well, still, still young, no? So, but... Uh, 
but that's not the new generation. No, <laughs> he's a player that have been on the tour for for a lot of years already. No, and uh, <laughs> he's a player that has a unbelievable talent, unbelievable potential, and he started the season playing unbelievable. No, so gonna be a a very tough match for me. Uh, I hope for him too, and I'm gonna try to play my best because I know he's playing with high confidence. So all the like these are gonna have chances. The tennis world is now starting to look at the fact that. Uh, the final might be a vintage final between yourself and uh, Roger. Do you give yourself the luxury just to look ahead a little bit and think what might be? You know, let me enjoy today. The the victory being in the semi-final for me is a great news again. It's a good start of the season. And uh, um, now I have a very tough match against Dimitrov. No, what happens in the other side of the draw, I think, is great for for tennis that Roger is is there again uh, after an injury after, after a lot of people talks about always the same <laughs> uh, things that probably he will never be back the real thing is he's back and he, he's probably ready to win again uh, fighting again to win a, a major no? so that's that's a real thing and that's good for 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 the fans because um, Roger is a, is a legend of our sport no? so I am happy to be there too and I'm focused on on my on my semifinals.